Now, table methods are basically functions that operate on a particular table. I use the word method because it's very familiar to object-oriented programmers who have functions attached to tables. But to do that, you have to understand the nuances of Lua. So if you'd like to understand more about object-oriented programming and then bring that knowledge to Lua, it helps to know the interesting ways that Lua deals with scope and closures and things like that. So let's take a person here that has damage. And we're going to create a function that equips things to that particular person. So we'll say equipped with a weapon, some, some weapon of some point. And we'll say the person's weapon that they equipped is whatever you pass in, right? But if you equip something, your damage is going to go up. So if the weapon is, let's say, a dagger, for example, then that dagger would then increase that person's damage to four because they're no longer using their fists, right? However, if that weapon was even more powerful, such as a club, then that damage would equal six. Otherwise, we have no idea because and it's not equal, equal six. It's equal. Make a statement, bro. Be confident. Otherwise, we don't know what the weapon is, or you just, in this case, it could, weapon could be nil, right? You pass a nothing. Then in that case, you go back to using your fist. And so when we print out person, lowercase, and then we equipped, let's say, the dagger, and just mix and match in quotes to keep you on your toes. doesn't really matter. And then we'll print out the person again. And then finally, we'll equip nothing, and then print the person one last time this time with feeling. When you run, you can see that it's affecting the person. So the damage starts at one. That's what the person starts with. But we then equipped a dagger, which dynamically creates a property. So it mutates the existing variable on that table, the key value, but it creates a brand new one just on the fly. It says weapon equals dagger. But then it removes it when you set it to nil. We say, well, we don't have an equipment anymore. So instead of saying weapon equals nothing equipped, we just literally remove it. That's another option to modify tables. So in this particular code, you can see that it's affecting this particular person variable outside of the function. The function just takes a weapon, assumes that variable is there in that particular scope of the script, and goes ahead and edits it. So that's a basic way of doing a table method or function to modify an existing table or object and create new properties on it as well as remove them as well.